Good evening and Cade Mila Falta to the 2022 University of Limerick Alumni Awards. It's still a novelty after what the world has been through in recent years to look around a room and see everyone gathered around, looking really fine, enjoying what promises to be a lovely and special evening. It's an extra special year at UL. It's celebrating its 50th anniversary. Yachid Blian. Since this prestigious awards programme was launched by UL Lumini in 2006, it has become a major highlight in our university's social calendar. I can promise you, we absolutely have a great evening in store with delicious food, great music and fantastic company. Of course, the real purpose of our coming together tonight is to recognise and celebrate the excellence and achievements among the university's 118,000 graduates worldwide. And this evening, we honour the individual achievements of three of our outstanding alumni. It gives me the greatest of pleasure to greet you all here this evening, where we've come together to acknowledge all that is good and great about the University of Limerick. To Ms. Imelda Hurley, Colonel Colm Doyle, Ms. Linda Ledger, we salute you and offer our sincere congratulations. Please welcome our 2022 recipient of the UL Alumni Award for outstanding contribution to business, Ms. Imelda Hurley. I came to UL in 1990, excuse me, and um, I, you know, I began a journey. And if I thought that, well, nearly 30 years later, I'd be standing on the stage here being recognised, I think I would have thought that could never happen. So I'm delighted to be recognised. I would say UL gave me a tremendous start and um, the Corporate of Education was one of the big reasons that I came to UL. Um, you were growing up on a family farm, we didn't have a background in business um, and today here I am. the 2022 recipient of the UL Alumni Award for Outstanding Humanitarian Contribution, Colonel Colm Doyle. We are close on, I think, 75,000 tours of duty with the United Nations over 60 years. Currently, we have 550 people serving in a lot of missions. And I think in, in receiving this accolade tonight, I think I would like to do it on behalf of members of the Irish Defence Forces of which we've lost 89 on service in international peacekeeping. Would you please give a big Limerick welcome to Ms. Linda Ledger, or Linda Legend as I've been calling her. And it was thanks to you all because, and in my office, if anybody comes to visit me, I have all these pictures up, and so they're like, and I'm like, yeah, got a diploma. Yeah, and, and everybody, all of a sudden, they think you're different. So I just want to break that cycle. I want to bring it to my kids in my Ross. I want to bring it to the kids in CBS that they can do it. And like, if we don't teach it in the schools, both myself and my husband, we love the kids, but we, we wouldn't have been able to do it without being able to afford it. So we have to bring it into the schools because all these things with education, language and all these other groups, it's all a poverty industry. It has to start in the schools and it has to be completely social inclusion. <laughs> 